more lunch breaks. Break. What up guys? How's it going? This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Basically, they're just really awesome. We made our website with Squarespace. So if you're making a website or a store or you need a domain, do it with Squarespace. Oh, by the way, Mike's here. Oh yeah, Mike's here. Yeah. Welcome back. I've made my yearly visit to the lunch break table. Mike, Mike so was very upset that he wasn't sitting next to Taylor. <laughs> Look, you know, this is good. I have to work for him now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, work for him? What a great segue. <laughs> kind of like in dating. Do you feel like he's out of your league and you need to work to get into his league? Uh, yeah. wow, wow, you know, um, may maybe. So today we're talking about leagues, right. not the video game. <laughs> Sorry, we are, we're very unqualified to talk about that. But this was actually a topic that you wanted to come on to lunch break to talk about. Why yeah. were you so like zealous about this topic? It's a, it's a very it's a very Wong Fu topic. You know, it's about like dating okay. and like you know thinking a lot in your head about. <laughs> <laughs> Wong Fu is thinking a lot in your head about relationships. That's in our website actually. Okay. You can see that. Is it? Is that the Wikipedia? Yeah, that's our motto. Well, um, like, yeah. is, is it because like, did you have an experience where you felt you were out of someone's league, or? You know, you always see it in a lot of movies and stuff. You know, they. There's make a movie straight up called. She's out. She's out of, she's out of my. She's league. out of my league, right? Yeah. Yeah, I actually had an experience where a, a girl I knew <gasps> was giving a guy a chance. Oh. Um, and I was like, wait, what? Well, that's so interesting. And, um, a girl I knew. Asking for a friend, sure. <laughs> and then oh, and be then, sure to tell you her what you said. And then and then um, I think that guy like didn't, ended up denying her, <gasps> and then she was like, and she was like, oh well, you know, like I was out of his league anyway, type thing. Oh. And I was like, this that was the first time in real life. I was like, wait, That's is this big. real or not? Like like I know it's in movies and stuff. So I want, I was curious, like, do you guys think leagues exist? What a great question, Mike. No. Well, do they actually? Do you think they exist? Well, I mean, you know, I think... Yes like, or no, it's just a yes or no. I think, you know, um, I think... I think there are people that think that they are better than other people. Oh, those okay. people suck. But not all people think that they're like that. Wait, I think there are yes people. or no, bro. I, I'm, not, I'm like Mike, so it's, it's like... It's kind of a gray area. I think people want to be nice and believe that leagues don't exist, but I think everyone sizes everyone up, and they also have their own self-worth, and so... Mm. They'll want to say like something nice and be like, "Oh no, everyone has a chance. Everyone's on the same playing field." Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I think people do judge people, and there are leagues. I think yeah, kind of like what Phil said. Most people want to deny that and be super nice, but like, no, I'm totally open-minded to seeing anyone. Everyone is like an equal contender, kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. How do you define? leagues or what goes into that decision of if they're out of your league or not. Before we can say if we believe in leagues, no. we should actually see like what we what think. What is like, a league? Tell a card. So that's the thing, I think a lot of people, the knee-jerk reaction is like, they think it's just physical. They think like, oh, she's too hot for me, or he's too hot for me, or I'm too like much of a loser or whatever. Mm -hmm. I do think that there are people that, you know, you can objectively say are like very attractive, but if I saw a, like a beautiful girl, but she had a terrible personality or something, or was like not smart, I would think that I'm out of her league. I would say like, I wouldn't want to date someone that is not, I'd be seeing eye to eye with me. Mm -hmm. so that, no matter how attractive she is. That's a good point. See, I think people have different definitions of leagues on, on an individual level, mm -hmm. based on like which yeah. values they they value more and stuff. So there is a hierarchy to leagues though. Mm -hmm. which, that's, the, oh. that's the main thing about leagues in my opinion is that <laughs> Yeah, how many are there? There's a clear hierarchy. It's like this is better than this, which is better well, than this, which is better than this. Mm -hmm. Which, and if you have those things, you're moving up the league. But then doesn't everyone? Everyone has a different ranking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because some people will value good family above stability, or some people will value stability over ambition. Right. And I think that's when a lot of the debate happens is when people's definitions of leagues don't line up, so they're like, no, I'm not out of your league, because I define it by this mm -hmm. standard. Mm -hmm. And they're like, no, I define it by this. Mm -hmm. The thing with leagues, though, when you think about it, it's kind of a first impression thing. Because I feel like when you get into how family-oriented are there, what they value and how their personality is, at that point, you're either Pretty friends oh. or you're already dating, and then you decide if they are or aren't out of your league. So I think when I think of leagues, it's kind of like appearance, and then if you know what they do for a living, 
Like, you kind of just meet him at a bar. What do you do? Oh, like, I'm an accountant. Oh, you've got a lot going for you. You've never met anyone at a bar, Ashley. I haven't, <laughs> you've never met I've an, it You've never met an accountant at a bar before. <laughs> you meant bar as in, like, the, the like bar house. house. <laughs> <laughs> when yeah. you talk about tears, so wouldn't it be, like, is it would be super superficial things that you could kind of get within a two-minute conversation. But the thing is, these days, what's superficial and easily accessible is not just yeah, work and name or looks, because like people have social media. You can right. you can go into like what their they family's creep like. That hard to establish a lead. The thing is, it's no. that was, that's the best act I've ever seen. They creep that hard. Thanks, God. <laughs> hey, we all do. We all do. Um, obviously, yes. First impression, what you're saying is you're gonna see the cover of the book. Yeah. You're gonna see looks, and you're gonna maybe find out what they do, and then maybe beyond that, you'll find out if they have a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. I would say that this group would say. You know, your partner needs to have a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. That's pretty on par with me. Taylor, you could not be with a girl that did not laugh at your jokes. <laughs> that's that's number one. That's I, was, like, <laughs> I was laughing at my jokes, then looks, <laughs> then <laughs> occupation. I think 90% of dating profile says, and I like a guy with a sense of humor. <laughs> But so, in, in the end of the day, I think defining leads is, is basically um, if you are, I think it's if you are attracted to someone or not. That's so basic. I mean, in terms of like, that's oh, so no. they're like, I'm not attracted to this person. Because that's what it is. Like, that's oh, physically attracted. Are oh, you talking about no, no, oh, all attraction? Oh, so attraction. Oh, okay. oh yeah. It's the humor, intelligence, laughing at jokes, physical. But if you say like, oh, I am not attracted to this person, in a way you're saying I'm on a higher lead than them. You know? I see. Mm -hmm. Right? Because yeah. like, if they tried, I would not be saying yes, right? I have another category mm -hmm. that, that people take into, I think, as you get older, that maybe you guys don't. Retirement plans? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Help. So, like, you know, Jeez. responsibility. But what I was going to say, <laughs> what I was going to say is actually um, family, like class or whatever, or like mm. the type of family they're from. Have you guys ever experienced feeling that you weren't good enough for their family? That's interesting because it's, it's, it's such a, um, in history, like leagues of like, that's you know, literal, the prince, yeah. Yeah. Like the prince, I can't marry. Um, that's you Aladdin, know, it's Aladdin. Aladdin. It's Aladdin. It's Aladdin. You're Cinderella. You know? You're <laughs> no, I'm Aladdin. I'm Aladdin. <laughs> um, <laughs> Street rat. <laughs> but then, in that scenario, you have to be that one person that's like, no, I'm gonna marry Jack Dawson. I will. <laughs> I'm gonna go after him. I'm not gonna go after Cal and his diamonds. Wow. You know? Wow. You gotta be was, the main character well, of that story. Well, right? That's what I was thinking too, while you guys were talking, is that I think that the phrase she's out of my league or he's out of my league is just rooted in the fact that like, we all desire people that we hold above ourselves. Mm. Like, oh, yeah. we see the wow. traits that yeah. they possess as things that we want, you know, in our life. Yeah. And so I that's think, very natural, right? Yeah, I think that's good. I think it's good to like, you know, be attracted to, to someone that you feel is something that you want to aspire to have or, or be. And, it, and that's something like a relationship should make each person a better person. Mm -hmm. You should be better together than you are as individuals, right? So if that is leveling up yourselves, even though the league or the levels or boundaries don't actually exist, the feeling of aspiration or the feeling of like, oh, I want better for myself, I think that's great. That's mm -hmm. a really good point. Also, if they literally are rejecting you because of the fact they think that they are out of your yeah. league, that they are in a higher league than you, yeah. if you're beneath them, then... They did you a favor. Yeah. Like, they're, they're not worth your time. Yeah. Then actually, you're out of their you're league. You're out of their league, for yeah. sure. Yeah. But I think overall, leagues are, they're actually kind of beneficial because then you kind of get some self-improvement and you don't have to be bound to your league. You can kind of level up, level out to be the best version of yourself for yourself. So if you think someone is out of your league and you're trying to like say, oh no, I'm not gonna approach them. I think don't jump to that conclusion because mm -hmm. they might value your traits higher too, you know, than you're assuming, you know, so. Think of it this way, currently if you like them, it's either a yes or a no. But if you don't even ask them, it's automatically a no. There's zero chance of it being a yes. <laughs> is that the wrong send off? <laughs> Phil, how about you go? No, 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 no. <laughs> now take, now cherry pick what we said. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like that leagues are generally self-made and self-induced, and we treat them as like boundaries psychologically to ourselves and emotionally. So you can either be locked down by them or you can use it as motivation to improve yourself, motivation to be more open-minded. I think ultimately we're just saying like, don't just see it and believe it and then that's it, right? Yeah, oh, very good, very good Phil. Mm. Anyway, we wanna hear from you guys. Leave in the comments below if you have any interesting league stories. 
and not League of Legends. I mean, <laughs> those are good stories too. Thanks to Squarespace again for uh, sponsoring this episode. Right, if you guys want to get 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com slash wongfu, and you can also use the discount code wongfu. Please use it, and we can keep eating lunch with you guys. Yay! We'll see you guys next Thursday. Mike won't be here. Uh, Thanks, Mike. thank you, Mike. I'll be on the other side. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you in a year. Okay. Cool. Follow Mike, uh, all of his <laughs> links below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.